Now, scientists have called on rowers taking part in an epic 2,000-mile race around Great Britain to help chart the growing threats facing Britain's coastal waters, such as microplastics. Our chief correspondent, Richard Gaysford, is at the Royal Albert Docks in London with more on this. Good morning to you, Richard. So what do the experts want the rowers to do for them then as they make their way around? Well, they want the most comprehensive survey of the coastal waters in one continuous loop. And it's not just this ocean rowing boat that's going to do it. It's these two as well. The GB Row Challenge starts on Sunday. And Jess here is the skipper of this boat, popping up from a very small cabin that you're all going to be sharing for more than a month, isn't it? It's a tough challenge, this, but an important job. Yeah, it's a really tough challenge. We've got a team of five ladies and uh, we're rowing around 2,000 miles around Great Britain. And uh, we're living in our ocean bo rowing boat for, for hopefully 40 days. And you're going to be gathering all of this data, which is crucial. Yeah, um, we're so lucky to be partnered with um, Portsmouth University and gathering some information about microplastics on our way around. So, yeah, great privilege to do it, that. It is. Well, I know you're all pretty much ready to go. Uh, ladies on board, fully stocked up. The blades, and these aren't oars, these are blades, are there, and that's what they're going to be using to power their way around. Uh, Faye from the University of Portsmouth, I mean, this is really important data you're looking to do, uh, to get. How are you going to do it? So uh, we have a pump system here. We're going to be pumping through 200 litres of water approximately every day through some metal piping, because obviously we're measuring plastics. And we'll be go putting this through a metal filter, stainless steel. So really small particles to see what's in the water. Why do we need to know how much plastic's in the water? It's really important for the ecology to know what's happening to the species there and also whether it's getting into our food chain. So are they oysters, fish, etc. Um, and we're going to compare this data to the biodiversity data we're also collecting to see if microplastics are affecting biodiversity so in our waters. So in effect, waters. we're going to get a map of the entire UK waters to see how much plastic's in there? Absolutely. Uh, and other animals as well you're going to be able to find? You're going to be seeing what the species are in... in, in in the seas? Yeah, everything uh, from dolphins and whales all the way down to bacteria. Uh, that's the beauty of eDNA or environmental DNA. OK, well, listen, there's a really big task that they have. They set off, uh, and in whatever the conditions, two or three are going to be rowing at any one time, Charlotte. It's uh, not for the faint-hearted. Not sure if you fancy it. No, I'm not sure I do, Richard, but, you know, I'm sure they'd appreciate the help if you want to join them. Let's hope the weather holds for them. Thanks very much.